Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, on this video I want to show you uh, this new build that I've just come across. This is running on the new uh, update that Cody's just released called Jarvis. And uh, I'll go through the installation with you as well. So let's get to it. As you can see, very good looking build and uh, checking the links below each section seems to have all the latest ones uh, that, that work and uh, just above the sections there you can see the nicely done DVD art uh, for, for this uh, trending movies. Uh, we've got the TV shows, Kid Zone, Ruya, IPTV, Live TV, Sports, Add-ons, System, Power, and Weather if you do set that up, um, and lastly Music. So if I go through the installation with you, um, we'll, uh, we'll see how we get on. So the first thing I like to do is I like to start from scratch. So on your Nexus Player box, go back to the home screen, and we're going to delete Cody off, I think is the easiest uh, easiest way to do it. So go into settings. This is if you've already got Cody. Uh, apps, downloaded apps, and then delete Cody. There we are. Okay, back to your home screen. Just need to delete this off from ES File Explorer. Okay, so in the Google Play Store, we need to search for Cody. Normally comes up straight away. There we are. So install that. This is the latest Cody as well. They, I think they've just um, released the update on it on the um, Google Play Market to the. Uh, Jarvis build 16 um, which is great so download that it's uh, only a quick installation there we go and we can open it from here as well Okay, so once uh, Cody's up and running, if we go across to System and down to File Manager, we need to click down and add source. Now you'll see there it says None, so we need to click in None and enter this repo. So it's HTT, oops, TTP, colon, forward slash, forward slash, repo dot i console that's i console tech dot uk so that's http colon forward slash forward slash repo r e p o dot i console tech which is i c o n S U L T E C H dot UK. So when you've done that, click on done and then click down to enter a name for this media source. At this point, you can name it anything you want. So I'm going to put on there iConsole or dot console. Click done and then down to OK. Now if we back out of this, back out to your main screen, and click on System, and go all the way down to Add-ons, first run help, just press OK. Now we need to install from zip file, and find the folder that you've just named, in my case it was .console, so click into that folder. And near the bottom you'll see plugin.program.ict wizard. So click on that. 
And at this point, we're going to have to wait a couple of seconds um, until you see it load in the bottom left, uh, right-hand corner. So uh, give it give, give it a few moments. Here we go. You can see it says iConsole Tech Wizard add-on enabled down in the bottom corner. So once you see that, if you come all the way back out to your main menu, and then whip across to Programs, click into that, Program Add-ons, and you should see iConsole Tech Wizard there. So click it onto that. Now this is showing um, a couple of builds. And the one that we want is the uh, origin build, TV origin build. So click on that. This will then say the full system update will overwrite everything on your current install, including settings. So um, it's asking if you like to back it up. Um, I never do. It's up to you, but I'm going to click no. And then Cody may auto force close to finish the update or it will prompt you to do it manually. OK, and then it's going to begin to download the build. Once it's finished downloading, it'll then extract it. So just leave everything go until it's fully extracted also. Um, so it's, you can see it's creeping up there quite fast. It's not a huge build this, but um, you seem to get quite a lot for, for um, how small a file it is, uh, which is great. But I'm running fiber optic, about 75 meg. Uh, so you can see it's quite fast. So leave that download. We'll come back to it in a second. There we go. Now it's extracting. Again, it's quite a quick process. I thought I'd leave this run in real time just so you can see how quick it actually is. There we are. So to finish you will need to relaunch Kodi once it has force closed. So click OK. <clears throat> Warning, your system has been detected as Android. You must force close the Kodi. Do not exit cleanly via the menu. So click OK. Now what we need to do is, um, if you go back to your home now, we're going to restart the Android box. So go down to Settings. Across to About. Down to Restart. And Restart. So let's... Wait for this to restart up a moment. Okay, so from here, let's just open Kodi. It should load the new build. Here 
there we go. Now at this point you need to leave it go, uh, let it settle down, it may install some updates um, as the repos get updated. So um, don't jump straight into it and, and um, play around with it too much because you may find that it might freeze. Um, now <laughs> a couple of people have asked me on some previous videos I've done about the um, sizing of the screen because it doesn't quite fit. So I'll show you how to change that so you can get it to fit your screen. Um, it's quite an easy process. So all you need to do is you need to go across to settings. Sorry, system. Click on system. And then click all the way down to system again. Now you see um, across to the right from video output, it says video calibration. So click onto that. Now, now you can move the screen left to right, up and down. But you'll see um, at the moment the arrow in the top left hand corner beginning to become uh, in view. So I'm just going to line that up with the corner of my screen and press enter. Now I'm going to do the same with the bottom corner. You see it moving down. Just get it to the right size. Once you're happy with that, press OK or Enter. Now at this point, you can just um, come all the way back out, back arrow out. Now you can see that that's fitting my screen perfectly um, with the RS feed above um, scrolling across. So I hope that's helped a couple of you. Um, if not, then give me a shout below and I'll, and I'll try to talk through in a bit more detail. Um, so there we go guys, that's um, a, a new build that I've just come across recently and I'm kind of liking it, loving the look of it, loving the links on it. Uh, it seems to have everything that I generally use. Um, so I hope you like it, give me a thumbs up, any comments below, um, great. Thanks guys, catch you again.